Hello students, let's continue our discussion in SMS. So random number generation, next is test for autocorrelation. See, autocorrelation, uh, this correlation test, the dip, this, this depends on the, uh, <clears throat> this is concerned with the dependence between the, uh, dependency between the numbers, okay. This the test is concerned with the dependency between the numbers in a sequence. So sequence of number, once again, uh, this test is conducted for a <clears throat> sequence of numbers, okay. As you can uh, see over here around uh, 50 or 100 in, uh, random numbers which is applied for. So uh, if you just uh, take this, uh, there are 30 numbers taken, uh, list of 30 numbers given over here, okay. You just consider these three, uh, sorry, these 30 numbers. So if you observe, hope it is visible. If not visible, you just uh, check the page number. Watch the video, check the page number later. I will tell you the page number of the textbook 233 later. It is continued in 234 okay so just observe the values of the random numbers first random number starts with 0 0.12 0 0.01 0 0.23 0 0.28 okay um, but fifth number just observe its value is increased to 0 0.89 okay uh, rest all almost uh, similar values and they have okay hardly 10 points of difference 5 to 10 points of difference they have but uh, all of a sudden the fifth random number which is in, increased to 0.89 so 50 plus points are increased then check the sixth one 0.28 to 0.31 right uh, only three points increased 0.64 okay slight increase 0.28 once again in the range 0.83 sorry and 0.93 so if you observe what is the general observation is randomly you just observe the positions so fifth position we have identified the value is uh, slightly increased then similarly take the same uh, <coughs> displacement value fifth, observe the fifth position once again from there what that is total uh, tenth position right from the beginning value is increased 0 0.93 you observe the 15th position once again it is increased 0.91 isn't it in that position it looks like value is more only 0 0.88 we have similarly uh, 25th position as well as 30th position every fifth number every fifth number the value is slightly it looks like the value is slightly increased right so <clears throat> this type of set we are going to check the dependency among the uh, numbers in a sequence this type of test is called as the auto correlation test let us continue our discussion how to uh, go for the test and all okay fine it is uh, fine it is more clearly visible i think so the test to be described shortly this test auto correlation okay requires the computation of the auto correlation between every m numbers every m numbers okay m is known as lag the value of m just now we have considered is 5 please remember every 5 intervals we have taken okay and we have observed the test to be described shortly requires the computation of the auto correlation between every m numbers which is called as lag okay starting with the ith number you can start from any position i have started it from the first position they have observed fifth position then add pl add plus 5 again add 5 to it you will be getting the 10th position 15th position 20th position and so on right thus the auto correlation let us uh, denote it with the term p of i m between uh, between the following numbers would be interest that is i let, let uh, the ith random number be ri then ri plus lag you have to add m okay ri plus 2m and so on till ri okay getting no so where m stands for the lag okay the value of m we have taken earlier was 5 please remember i was 1 first first random number so we are observing the positions ri initial position add lag to it that is ri plus m okay that is fifth position ri plus 2m you will be getting 10th position and so on the last position will be ri plus m minus 1 into m okay where the value of m is just go through the statement yeah the value of m is the largest integer okay it is the largest integer just go through the condition such that such that there is a condition i plus m i m plus 1 into m less than or equal to n where n is the total number of 
values in the sequence so value of n we have considered over there value of n we have considered over there is what 30 out of 30 i'll tell you what is capital m so capital m is nothing but see you have observed fifth integer isn't it count have a count of that so count value is 1 then you have observed 10th integer count value will be 2 that is m is capital m is 2 isn't it similarly 15th that is 3 20th 4 and so on so how many number of times you have considered the value of m that is uh, lag value that should be the value of capital m okay there is a condition to be satisfied so the formula what you have written should be less than or equal to sorry let's uh, observe that uh, statement once again sorry i plus m plus 1 into m which should be less than or equal to capital n where the value of capital n is nothing but total of total number of uh, to total random numbers in the sequence let it be 30 40 or whatever okay fine thus a subsequence of length m plus 2 being tested the non non zero auto correlation implies a lack of independence non zero auto correlation implies a lack of independence so the following test uh, two tailed test is appropriate two tailed test in the sense you have to go for uh, at least two different hypotheses one is called as null hypothesis and the other hypothesis h0 and h1 it is marked as so h0 which is null hypothesis which tends that p of i m p of i m just now we have considered the notation so p of i m which is equal to zero what is p of i m just see over there we have <coughs> mentioned the auto correlation p of i m between the following numbers would be of interest so p of i m which stands for the auto correlation between the numbers between the numbers maybe between the first number and fifth number fifth number and tenth number tenth number and fifteenth number or whatever it is denoted as p of i m okay between the numbers so auto correlation between the numbers which is equal to zero that is the null hypothesis the other hypothesis which is not equal to zero so both the cases we are testing fine so for the larger let us see the formulas now of autocorrelation test okay for larger values of m capital m i'm speaking okay uh, the distribution of that is capital m the classes what you have taken uh, the distribution of estimator of p of i m denoted as distribution of estimation estimation distribution is denoted as uh, p cap of i m which is approximately normal if the values ri ri plus m sorry hope it is uh, visible let me zoom it ri ri plus m ri plus 2m and so on till ri plus m plus 1 into m are auto correlated then the test statistics okay test statistics can be obtained as follows z naught which is called as test statistics um, which is p of i m p cap of i m divided by sigma p cap of i m let us see with the let us see its meaning and all let us see the next statements just try to remember the formula okay the formula p cap of i m in a slight in a slightly different form and standard deviation of the estimator that is standard deviation is marked as sigma of p of i m please try to understand this is called as a standard deviation among the numbers okay that among that five numbers or ten numbers whatever you have defined as the value of m so st standard deviation values yeah hope it is visible standard deviation is marked as a sigma of p cap of i m the denominator please try to understand they are given by the smith and taylor okay this formula is proposed by the auto correlation test formulas are proposed by smith and taylor as follows by considering the standard deviation between the numbers please try to remember the formula derivation part is not there for you you just have to remember it though it looks like slightly complicated formula the <coughs> value of p of i m p cap of i m is given as 1 divided by m plus n summation of k from 0 to m r i plus k m r i plus k plus 1 
into m where k is any interval minus 0.25 this is the standard value and then standard deviation observed that is sigma of p cap of i m as you can see over here yeah this you can observe sigma of p cap of i m that is the standard deviation value i mean the number that is the square root of 13 m plus 7 by 12 into m plus 1 please try to remember this formula because uh, <coughs> we are not going to discuss about its uh, derivation so these are all <coughs> borrowed and the directly from the properties of mathematics and the formulas are given by uh, smith and taylor okay in 1970 that's what you can see for autocorrelation test the main thing here it uh, computes the dependency among the numbers in a sequence okay please remember why dependence why autocorrelation test is used it is used to uh, observe the dependence among the numbers in a sequence so you have to identify some position some fixed position like first position fifth position tenth position 20th uh, 15th position 20th position and so on okay some positions you have to fix identify the number so as per the list what is written above the particular position numbers in per, that particular position we observed that slightly the values are varied or increased okay then for such type of list we can go for a autocorrelation test to check the dependency okay it can be done with the help of this test and we are using the formula here the computation of standard deviation among the number and all are there so computation of standard deviation we are using the standard formula for that as well as we are uh, <coughs> also finding the statistic the statistic computation is done with the help of the first formula okay just observe the statements in the page number page numbers i said earlier if you want uh, let me tell you the page number once again just concentrate here the page number is 234 233 we started 234 it is there okay so similarly we are computing the z value of z for the that is does not z1 and so on okay conditions are given over there statements are given as you can see please go through the page number 234 try to understand the watch the video again try to understand the concepts